Hello, my name is Blake Lewis, and today I will be going over different binary tree traversal methods. Uh, so the first one is depth first search, and then after I will be going over breadth first search. Uh, so breadth first search uses the function call stack to recursively traverse through the binary tree. Uh, the steps are as follows. Print root node, recurse left child, and then recurse to the right child. Uh, so here's the example binary tree that I will be going through in the example. Uh, so we're going to start at the root node, which is A. We are then going to print the root node to our output, <coughs> and we are going to recurse to the left child. Uh, so we're recursing to the left child of A, which is B. Uh, so this is a new frame on the function call stack. So now we are going to print out B, uh, and then we are going to recurse to the left child of B, which is D. Uh, since D is a leaf node, uh, it has no children, so all we are going to do is output D, and then we are going to return. Uh, since we've already gone to the left of B, we're going to go to the right, to E. We're going to print out E. E is a leaf node just like D, so we are going to return, popping that off the call stack. Since B has gone to the left and to the right, it is done and with all the steps, and will also return. So we're now at A. Since we've already gone left, we will now go right to C. Uh, since C is a leaf node, we are just going to print and return. Uh, A has gone left and right, so we are done. And that is the end of that algorithm. So our output is going to be A, B, D, E, C. Uh, so the time complexity of this algorithm is big O n, where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree. This is because the algorithm uh, touches each node one time throughout the uh, full traversal. Uh, the space required for this algorithm is the maximum size the function call stack will grow. Uh, this is the same as the height of the binary tree. So for this example, our height is 1, 2, 3. So the max space that we need is enough for three uh, call stack frames. Uh, moving on to depth first, I mean breadth first search, sorry. So breadth first search uses a queue, whereas depth first search used a function call stack. Uh, the steps for breadth first search are we're going to print the root node, we're going to add the child nodes to the queue, and then if the queue is not empty, we are going to take a node from the queue and we are going to go back to step one with that new node off the queue. So we're going to start at the root node A. We're going to start with A, we're going to output A, print root node. Then we're going to add the children of A to the queue. So that is B and C. So our queue grows by two, two B and C. Uh, now if the queue is not empty, which it is not, we're going to take a node off of the queue, so B, and then we're going to start working with B starting again at step one. So we're going to output B and put on its children, which are D and E, onto the queue. Uh, then we're going to take C off of the queue, start working with C. Uh, so we're going to print out C. Uh, since C is a leaf node and has no children, uh, there's nothing to be added to the queue. So we're going to take D uh, in step three. Uh, now we're going to go back to step one for D, which is outputting D. Uh, D is also a leaf node and has no children, so we're done with step two. Step three, we're going to take E off and print E. E is a leaf node, so nothing is added to the queue. And now that the queue is empty, the algorithm is complete. So our final output is going to look A, B, C, D, E. Uh, so the time complexity of this algorithm is the same as depth first search. It is O n, where n is the number of nodes in the tree. However, the space complexity is the maximum size that the queue will grow. Uh, so the maximum size of the queue is actually the width of the binary tree. So in this example, we have a width of 1, 2, 3. Uh, so the space complexity is O w, where w is the width. Uh, and that covers what I want to say about depth and breadth for search. Uh, thank you for listening.